Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if you're coming across an issue where you do not have permission to access a file or folder or drive on your Windows computer. And it might say that you don't currently have permission to access this folder. Click continue to permanently get access for this folder and you click on continue but it doesn't let you do it. So this should hopefully be appreciated for a tutorial and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Also, you might be getting an error that says contact your network administrator to request access. So if you are the network administrator or that really doesn't make any sense and you're not on some network work domain, perhaps, of some sort, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully cover this without too much of a problem. And we're going to jump right into it. So let's just start by actually accessing the folder or locating the folder we're having the problem with. So I'm literally just going to pick a random folder on our computer here. So I'm just going to say, let's say the contacts folder. I'm going to just right click on the folder again we're having the problem with and then I'm going to select properties. We are at this point going to select the security tab where it says to change permissions click edit, select the edit button and then you want to select the add button so go ahead and left click on that where it says enter the object name to select you want to go ahead and just type in your user account name or go ahead and try and search for it. So once you have this open here select the advanced button and then you want to select Find Now. So go ahead and left click on that. You can go ahead and search for your computer user account name in this list, which my username is literally just computer user. So I'm going to double click on that. I know it's very creative, but you might have your actual name in there or something. And you can also type in everyone as well. Not usually the most preferred option, but you can certainly do it. I've never had a problem doing everyone. People sometimes have an issue with that for whatever reason you can search for that on your own time but generally speaking that's okay as well but I found my computer username so you can see it's registered here. I'm going to go ahead and select OK and then once that is done you're going to, going to go ahead and select this account and you're going to make sure everything is turned on and allowed and again if for some reason they're turned off and you're unable to set them to allowed then you can select the add button and type in everyone select check names then select OK. And now at this point, you should be able to select full control here. And then you would select apply and OK. Again, if you can do it the first method, then you can just set it to everyone. And then once you're done with that, and it's every user on your computer. It's not like everybody on the internet. So I just want to put that out there, guys. So, you know, you'll use all the user accounts that are on your device. So if you only have one user account and maybe you have a hidden administrator account, that's what that means. So we're going to go ahead and select OK to save that. And then you should have access to that folder at this point to copy, remove, add files, that sort of thing. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do a positive to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.